Hello and welcome to another episode of Elephant English Podcast. Today we are going to be talking about where UK residents go on holiday. The main vocabulary that we're going to practice is about travels and tourism, but also numbers because I think that a lot of people who are learning English have difficulties to say and understand them, especially in listening activities. So, summer has just started in Europe and a lot of people are thinking about their holidays. As summer is normally when people go abroad and have their longest holidays of the year. Because travel has been affected so much by the Covid pandemic, the data that I'm going to be talking about is going to be from overseas travel and tourism studies of 2019. There were only around 24 million visits abroad in 2020 because of the pandemic, which seems like quite a lot, but this figure was down 74% if we compare it to those from 2019. Interestingly, even though it seemed that nobody went abroad for leisure that year, 60% of those visits were for holidays. Now, let's forget about what has happened during these difficult years and focus on the information that we have from 2019. There were 93.1 million visits overseas by UK residents in 2019. The record was broken that year as UK residents spent more than £62.3 billion on visits abroad. That means that they spent £670 on average per person, which is around €775. Euros. I was quite surprised when I read this because that means that a couple would spend about £1,300 every time that they go abroad, which is quite a lot. The main reason why people went abroad that year was for holidays. Nearly two-thirds, which is nearly 66% of people, were holiday makers and travelled for this reason. This was followed by visiting family or friends overseas. Unsurprisingly, the number of business trips fell that year, but there were still 9 million visits for business purposes. Now, let's talk about where UK residents travelled to, which I was most interested in. Spain was at the top of the list with 18 million visits. 87% of people visited this country for holidays, as it has great beaches, lovely weather, tasty food, and is not that far from the UK. Lots of British people visit areas of Malaga, Alicante, Valencia, or some of the Spanish islands like Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Ibiza, or Mallorca, which you have probably heard of. After Spain, France Italy, the US and the Republic of Ireland are the top places that are visited by UK residents and 46% of the total trips abroad are to these countries. Other countries that were in the top 10 of the list were the Netherlands, Greece, Germany, Portugal and Poland. As you can see, most of these countries are in the European Union, so that explains why 72% of visits abroad were to EU countries. Now that there are many budget airlines like Ryanair, EasyJet or Jet2 for example, it is very cheap to travel to another European country from the UK. In fact, there are sometimes flights that are on sale and you can travel to Spain, for example, for 9 euros. It is true though that the cheap flights are normally for flights that are during 
the low season, like spring or autumn, when not a lot of people usually travel. If you want to book a flight during high season, it is almost always going to be a lot more expensive because there is more demand. So, today we have talked about where UK residents normally travel to. It will be interesting to see the statistics of 2022 at the end of this year because I have seen on social media that a lot more people are travelling and it seems to be going back to normal. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and please comment telling me where you normally go when you travel abroad and the reasons why you normally travel. Remember that I always create a worksheet for you to practice the important words of the video and you can find it along with the transcript of this video in the link in the description box. Please like and subscribe if you would like to listen to more videos like this. Thank you and see you next time.